Hello chess friends and welcome to the Zarok Chess Channel and welcome to Spectacular game from the computer chess rating list website, the popular CCRL. We have here now the latest version of Stockfish, the Power Stockfish 17 that has been released two weeks ago against another top engine Clover in an amazing patch of defense. And I really like more, uh, as I mentioned many times before, uh, this games from the computer chess rating list website than maybe this games from the TCEC competitions and also this computer chess championships that we can follow on chess.com because on the computer chess rating list website you can download uh, all of the PGNs by uh, Stockfish 17 also by some other top engine in really regular good openings like the italian opening rui lopez i don't know uh queen's game declined the uh, ragos in defense uh, also here the petrov's defense so the games are not deviating into so some bad opening lines for any uh for any engine so that's why i think if you want to study really uh deep uh some theory about some openings really also uh search for maybe no, theoretical novelties please download all of the pgns from the computer chess rating this website i've done it already i've i've waited now when when it's go when it's going to happen when uh the ccrl will put now a new games by the newest version by stockfish 17 on their on their website and now they finally did it uh, the link to the download is then in the description below please check it out have some fun of course analyze some games study uh deeper deeper uh really your favorite openings and i think the petrov's defense that we'll see now is also a very very solid opening very popular in top gm level where you can get i think solid position with the black pieces in the early stage of the game but then again uh, when stockfish gets solid position it's simply then pure tactics who is the better tactician who will find of course better opportunities and here again stockfish played an incredible really immortal 15 moves pin uh, you, that you see now really incredible stuff so stockfish will pin a piece for 15 moves that will be immobile really paralyzed uh, through the whole game in my opinion really really spectacular game played by stockfish 17 so Let's dive now into the game with the white pieces. The fish open with the move e4, e5 by Clover. We have knight to f3, knight to f6. The Petros defense is on the board. Knight takes the six standard line. Now also black gets the pawn back. d4, d5. Now bishop to d3. Of course, not tolerating such a well-placed and outposted knight like this on e4. Knight to c6. Uh, we have now castling. Bishop to e7. And now rook to e1. Here Stockfish put more pressure against this uh, knight on e4. Bishop to g4 we have c4 stockfish of course is trying now to release the pressure here in the center of the board once of course deflect the key defender of the knight here um uh, on e4 and now after c4 what you could do maybe as a mistake is here to move knight to d4 knight to d4 is a beautiful trap actually that white can play then after something like bishop to e4 d takes e4 queen to d4 look at this you lose the size of material even if you try here e takes f3 then queen takes g4 wins the piece and again if you try of course here queen takes d4 then knight takes d4 of course uh, gets all this attack by the pawn and uh you still have an extra piece again game over here for black this is now a tiny little trap that i wanted to show you here look at this many uh, many of us would play maybe here the move knight to d4 but actually it's not working so that's why for c4 we have knight to f6 by clover simply retreating with the knight knight to c3 knight takes d4 now is actually working now it's it's a different story the knight is not uh here stuck on e4 so that's why for knight to d4 c takes d5 by the fish bishop to f3 it seems so that something is going wrong here for for white you're allowing your opponent here to mess up uh, the pawn structure on the f file but uh, here uh, finally uh, we have now reached a position where white is continuing the game still with the bishop pair in an open battle stockfish played here a very sharp line just in order to complicate things further and again there are several options here for black if you try castling this wouldn't be so good then after bishop takes h7 king to h7 uh queen to d4 is going to happen um white has the space advantage here uh with the pawn uh on d5 will eventually play bishop to f4 bishop to e3 also king to h1 rook to g1 uh i think is also very unpleasant then attack to handle for um for for, for black playable maybe here for black uh, when i watch now the database it's pretty equalish um, uh, result i think for white and for black but uh here my stockfish engine at home says that here white should be much much better so that's why for g takes f3 
Uh, here, uh, Clover didn't castle, played now the move c5, tries of course further to cement the knight uh, here on the score d4. Stockfish plays now beautiful d6, you cannot take of course with the bishop because of the activity by the rook on the e-file. Queen takes d6 has to be played and now knight to b5. Knight takes b5, bishop to b5, leads now into a very, very simplified line. But when we evaluate now the position, okay, white is down a pawn. Uh, has still the bishop pair on the board but the issue for black is that lo black last lost of course the privilege of castling uh, black doesn't have the rook connection so so far it's almost like black is playing for a while without the whole rook because the rook on h8 is of course uh, simply out of game we have now bishop to e3 by uh, stockfish and now clover had basically two chances bishop to e7 is the good approach that clover played here but i liked even more here the move b6 simply fixing the structure then after something like rook from a to d1 you retreat bishop to f4 seems maybe a little bit unpleasant that you still cannot get your pieces into the game but now you play g5 and g5 would i think here be uh, the liberating line for for black you cannot take obviously bishop to g5 because you get simply uh, pinned by the rook on g8 so you would be forced i don't know uh here for bishop to uh, pardon me, g5 to play bishop to e5 and then uh, maybe black could go for trades of rooks and simplify the game f4 uh still i would say equalish position because uh, white still has the bishop pair but nothing grammatic i think is going on so in my opinion fixing the structure here on the queen side would be also a solid solution here for for black okay here for bishop to e3 the clover tried bishop to e7 stockfish includes now uh this other rook into the game now comes g5 and now a4 we have rook to g8 and now b uh, b3 keeping everything compact on light squares of course um black has maybe uh here this three versus two situation but whenever you push some pawns here then you weaken of course also further your structure so you cannot do so much so far on the board and we have to also mention what bothers black i think a little bit in the game is that the knight is a little bit misplaced uh, the knight doesn't have good scores you cannot jump here you cannot jump there uh, maybe on h5 getting an f4 but uh, if you play for for instance knight to h5 then again you lose uh here the battle on the seventh rank the rook could be um uh, placed on d7 and then again it's a very unpleasant position for black to handle so now finally b6 by clover with, with a different move order now again fixing simply the structure on the queen side stockfish continues with bishop to c1 rook to d8 now comes a similar idea bishop to b2 rook takes d1 and now rook takes d1 so far we have to also say clover plays the perfect defense clover is uh, simply trying to hold this position the issue again a little bit for black is that still you cannot compete uh, on the d file against this unpleasant rook black would love to now i think simplify the game by trading off the rooks and going uh, into the fully end game stage here rook to g6 by clover trying maybe a maneuver uh, maybe trying here rook to d6 and then finally trade off the rooks stockfish continues with bishop to c4 rook to h6 bishop to e5 also with some ideas to get maybe the bishop behind and pick up now all of the pawns that are placed on dark scores we have now the move a5 now comes rook to d2 stockfish improves a little bit the position of uh, uh, the rook bishop to c7 uh, seems tempting that you could maybe attack now the pawn on b6 but actually with knight to e8 uh, everything is well protected you can maybe place the rook now finally on d7 but now after a couple of trades of pieces um the game is equal again because these are opposite colored bishops and i don't think that anyone could win the game um black is up a pawn but white has a better activity you cannot move the bishop because you're vulnerable around the square f7 so very really, very really, uh, messy position now uh for white white wants of course to get more more out of this with the beautiful bishop pair so that's why i move a5 rook to d2 king to e8 bishop to b5 a check stock which is not allowing here clover to somehow uh play any any defensive approach here on in the center of the board bishop to c4 rook to, uh, king to e8 king to f1 and now uh we have now this idea knight to h5 finally trying to cement the knight on this beautiful square but now stockfish again delivers a check places finally the rook on d7 black was in a certain zugzwang i would say the black didn't have so many options so black had to go like this we have now knight to f4 rook to b7 and now comes believe me or not the critical moment of the game already so here f rook to b7 
what you have to do here is to play uh, f6 simply allow here uh, i don't know bishop to f4 and then after something like uh, g takes f4 rook to b6 again you play c4 or something but again the issue in any of these lines is th th these are opposite colored bishops and uh, this is simply i think not the position that white can win or maybe you try here uh, the move bishop to c7 going for this pawn without uh without playing bishop to f4 then the issues for c4 bishop to c4 also there is no problem after rook to h2 there is also the checkmate threat with rook to h1 so you have to again play bishop to f4 g takes f4 and again we would have opposite colored bishop so again nothing gained here for white so that's why uh here after move f6 i think this would be a draw after maybe 20 30 moves uh here by these two top engines but after rook to b7 clover makes now a huge mistake with bishop to f6 and this is not good because stockfish has now rook takes b6 it seems so that black can hold now the position with king to g7 but now stockfish plays an incredible rook takes f6 a really really great move brilliant move here by the fish stick sacrificing temporarily the rook for the exchange after rook to f6 now stockfish plays bishop to c6 and the issue is now that this um, uh, king cannot move uh, you cannot place uh, here on g6 you get simply checked and then you have to again run into the pin and what stockfish is announcing here with the move bishop to c6 is a beautiful zugzwang motif where black will simply run out of good uh out of good moves black will simply not find any ways how to include now the knight into the game because white uh will simply control the king uh black, white will simply control the king that uh, the king doesn't have access to the square g6 and then uh, you're trying of course to escape someone with the rook actually what stockfish is doing now stockfish will simply paralyze the whole position of blacks here here i from knight to d3 stockfish plays bishop to c3 again i'm pointing out you cannot play something like this because also bishop to e4 again wins the piece here and then we pick up obviously the rook so this is not working now for bishop to c3 knight to c1 bishop to uh, d5 h5 look at this the rook is still pinned you see now this pin by uh, the dark bishop of whites will last now for 15 moves really really incredible stuff after move h4 uh, we have now the move f4 uh, pardon me after move h5 we have now the move f4 here by stockfish 17 if you pass through with the move g3 uh, g4 here then we have f3 and now after g takes f3 f5 again uh black is simply running out of moves you don't have access anymore to the g6 square the rook cannot take and now in one moment i think we can also trap the knight somehow maybe in a line knight to d3 then we pick up this one you're trying maybe h4 king to e2 look at this the knight is coming in now after something like king to d2 the knight is out of game you don't have any access with your knight anymore and now uh the king cannot move of course because then you lose uh, simply the rook and in one moment of course white will simply go for the spawns and simply push this one and it would be game over so f4 another brilliant move we have g takes f4 here by clover stockfish continues with bishop to b2 hits the knight simply stays uh, on this diagonal obviously against this rook we have f3 bishop to f3 and you see now how black is again running out of good moves black can just uh, play some uh, forced moves that are actually bad that are even worse now for black after h4 bishop to e4 again the knight gets attacked again bishop to b1 again you don't have access to the g6 score so uh, with your king we have now knight to e6 even if you try i don't know something like knight to h5 then f3 uh, you're trying to step back and now in a potential end game actually white should be better here because uh, when when the uh, pieces are off the board here when the pawns are traded then white will simply go into this line uh here stockfish calculated everything in a good way actually this is a completely completely winning end game uh here for for white because uh you know how the knights have a tough time to battle against this the distant outside pass pawns the pass pawns on the edge of the board so even after knight h5 if you try somehow to connect now the knight uh, to the rook and you're finally trying to escape with your king out of this pin actually 
in any of this line it's still a winning endgame here for stalkers so that's why for bishop to be one knight to e6 stalkers continues still with the pin plays now f3 knight to g6 and now stalkers again stays on the pin it's not allowing here black to breathe we have knight to f4 simply including now the king into the game and now finally king to f8 but like in the previous line you see again bishop to f6 knight to f6 and again we have reached uh the similar uh, position it's not the same but again with the same pattern uh stalker simply goes for the pawn uh here clover's trying to protect it but now stalker goes for the other pawn and now it's simply game over i would say in this beautiful bishop versus knight end game so you see how stalker uh, hold the position for a long time with the bishop and then improved simply his pieces and then uh, when, it, when when the time was right went for the weak pawns on a5 and also on the c5 pawn and now stockish has a passer simply pushes here to f4 pawn f6 we have now a5 king to c7 uh f5 we have here uh h3 bishop to f1 and after knight g4 in this particular position clover simply resigned there's nothing that can be done we'll simply grab now even this one uh then start to push and then also the position would be simply too stretched here uh, for black black couldn't defend of course now both sides so incredible incredible pin here by stalkfish 17 pinned now uh this uh, rook on f6 to the king for 15 moves and then simply improving the position and then uh, going for his pawns really really incredible end game technique by stockfish 17 so okay i hope that you enjoyed this game i really enjoyed it a lot interesting ideas of the petrov's defense here by both sides great defense i would say also by the clover chess engine if you want to see some other beautiful ai chess games like this check out our uh comment chess games play by computer series here's the link of our playlist and if you like this content hit the subscribe button See you soon with some more videos and what do we say in the end? Chess is the best, of course.